Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Yeah. Good night, everyone. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Remember, good evening, Sullivan. Good evening. Yeah, you're right. Good evening. <laughs> Great. I see we have David, too. Uh, I think David said, let me check. I think David said that he was not going to be able to speak. Let me check the what's up. Oh, yeah. David? Good evening. Hello. You, you can participate or no? Yes, yes. Yesterday, ah. I can. I can. Oh, it's yesterday. It's yes, that's right. That's right. I confused. Okay, David. Thank you. Thank you, David. All right. Well, it's great to have everybody here. Uh, let's get started. Thank you so much for connecting on time. Let's take a look. Um, the first thing we want to take a look at is a little bit about your day. Tell me something that happened during your day that surprised you. Or share something about your day, something that happened to you today. Okay, let me ask you the question one more time. What happened to you today? For example, today I was walking in a cafe alone, whatever. Tell me, what happened to you today? Um, at the at the morning. In the I morning. Just, in the morning, I just left my daughter in his her school, and I returned to my home to continue my work. So does that. Great. So you work from home, is that correct? Yeah, I'm working from home. Okay. Do you prefer to work to, from home or to go to the office? It's kind of mixed because if I work from home, maybe sometimes I don't have the hour, the, the finished hour. Uh, a difference if I go to the office, I have to go at 5 p.m., right? So it's just a difference. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. So, Yapa, what happened to you today? Did Suyapa say she cannot participate? Let me double check. We had a lot of people. Dinora? No, Dinora, no. And Rudy. Okay. So, Yapa? Can you yes, can, yes. Talk, can you participate or no? No, teacher. Right okay. now, no. Okay, no problem. I'm listening to the class. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Suyapa. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carla, what about you? What happened to you today? Uh, in the morning, teacher, I spend all the morning in the meets. In the meetings? Yeah, in the meeting uh, uh, at 8, say, o'clock to 11 a.m. And um, afternoon, I spend more, how do you say, calmada? Ah, more relaxed. More relaxed, yeah. Only mm. that. So in the afternoon, no meetings, nothing big. Thanks, God. <laughs> okay. Good. And David, what about you? What happened to you today? I I had a bad day. Uh, today is the last is the last date for press and the taxes and the platform for 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 internet is doesn't work and was more difficult do it but uh recently finished i uh, at 6 p.m finishes the present the taxes for my work mm, okay okay i in, in the taxes is for every month or for the year 
uh, for every month. Ah, uh, okay, okay, interesting. All right, and Anna, how about you? What happened to you today? Um, and that that day it was very nice. Um, I start started a uh, work uh, very early. Uh, because uh, I have uh, um, many things to do <laughs> today, but uh, it's okay. I I I like uh, my 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 life is very busy, but I like my life uh, yet. <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right, a lot of things, but you like it. I'm huh? very busy. Yes, I am a very, how do you say, hyperact hyperactive person? Hyperactive. Hyperactive person, yes. Okay, great. Uh, uh, um, always I am looking for something, um, for to do something. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Well, it's good that we are here today. We are ready to talk. Uh, we are going to have a couple of topics with our partners. And the idea is here, I'm going to give you the link for the conversation in the chat, okay? In the link, you're going to see student A and student B. This means one person is going to be A and one person is going to be B. And the idea is to ask and answer each other's questions. The topic is fears. Make sure you open the link first to make sure that it's clear and that everybody has access. Let's see. It's okay, does everybody have access? Yeah, right now I have access teacher. Okay, but great. So that means there are, as you can see, yes. yes, wonderful. There is a student A and there's a student B. One person is student A, one person is student B. You are not going to share screens. Student A asked the questions for the partner. Student B asked the questions to the partner. The idea is to practice your listening, improve your listening, not improve your reading. It's okay, okay the difference? Yeah. Yes, I think we have, oh, we have a couple more people that just came yes. in. Yes. Yes. And we're just going to make sure the people that came in a little bit late uh, in the WhatsApp, I'm uh, sorry, not in the WhatsApp, in the chat here, you can see the link. That way you can open it and participate. All right, let's go. David, Herson, Laura. David, Herson, Laura, any questions? Laura?
Laura. Carla, your partner left. Carla. Okay, no Carla, no soy apa. Sorry, uh, teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Sorry, I have a problem with my microphone, but maybe Suyapa it's a yente teacher. Yeah, no, no, yes, Suyapa is exactly. But Laura, yeah. but Laura is here. I don't, ah, okay. Laura. Hi, Laura. Laura. Hi, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. Uh, the teacher is send us send us a different. Uh, I lost the connection. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem. In the chat, you're going to see the link. Hello. With Carla. Okay, I share the screen. Maybe. Okay, Laura, do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I already. Uh, the screen no jet. Okay. Okay. Not okay. Necessary. okay. Remember, not necessary share. One person A, one person B. Okay. Discuss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I have. Uh, I had a phobia for for snakes. Mm. snakes. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Come on. Me too. <laughs> it's not dangerous. Come on. It, 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 it's possible. It's more um, possible you have a bite from the dog, not from the snake. So I don't think so. <laughs> I, I know, I know that. But dangerous. I, I, Come on. But I had a, a, a lot of, a lot of phobia for the really? snake. But no, uh, in the uh, arachnidos, I don't know how to say arachnidos, but no, I don't know how phobia for any arachnido, any reptile. Nothing but a snake, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jensen, you answer? No, oh, sorry, me, 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 me. I'm going to answer. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm thinking it's paranoia, no phobia. Paranoia. And okay. uh, the and sometimes when I'm totally tired and I have to stop in the middle of the street and in, in the car, so the other car around me start to um, advance or forward. I think I'm going to uh, how do you say retroceder? I forget it. Maybe get back when you get back to you get back. Yeah. I think I think the car it doesn't work the brakes, so I think it's going to hit the other car background. Um, so okay. I, I'm I have that paranoia all the time. Well, well, not all the times. Just when I'm so tired and I have to think about my family. I have to think about the things I got to do, uh, the things I have reverse. Yeah. yeah, I think I, I am in reverse. So I, I, I'm going to hit the other cars. So, but I, 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 I start to. It, something that we have to learn is live every day as the last day in our, our life. And I don't know, uh, I have never felt a worry about it, but uh, I think that we can uh, live every day and that's it. Yes, I I will live every day, but I I am afraid, but, but um, I don't know. I I have a, a I know, say, um, como, una persona que, how do you say, teacher, cuando las personas padecen de enfermedades, que no padecen de enfermedades y se las imaginan. <laughs> <laughs> no sé cómo, es que, es que, es que no sé. ¿Cómo? Hypo. Hypo. Chron 
hope I hope chondria. Yeah. Okay. Hypochondria. Uh -huh. I am that person. <laughs> oh. Ah, hipochondriaco in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yes. It's in the chat. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I hipochondria in Spanish. Yes. Um, for example, um, in the pandemic, mm -hmm. I oh. I was afraid about that, but uh, I, uh, not happen in my life anything <laughs> maybe uh, it doesn't have that virus but uh, is is in the in the mind only only things in my mind but it not really <laughs> sure if her son i'm not sure if her son is going to ask a, any question or if he is only a um, listener? I don't know. Harrison, uh, can you can you speak? Can you talk? Hello. Are hey. you here? Hello. Hello. Well, do, you, mm -hmm. do you want to make a, a question? Question. Mm -hmm. Or we can ask something to you. Person? ¿Qué es lo que estamos haciendo? Porque acabo de entrar ahorita a la clase. Vamos. Okay. Did you see? Um, maybe, uh, Sherda, did you see? Uh, my screen. Her yeah. Screen? Yeah, we can. We can see your screen. Herson? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Question. Tenemos uh, que contestar las preguntas. No. In, uh, okay. In this case, uh, we are going to ask uh, something and you can answer uh, whatever question that we select. Te vamos a hacer una pregunta de esas que están ahí, nos contestas. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. eh, okay, veamos. Hmm. Why do we feel fear? O oh, fear. Sí, fear. Number three, Herson. Mm -hmm. Como por qué sentimos miedo, por ejemplo. Creo que sí, prácticamente ha sido la pregunta. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fears es miedo, ¿verdad? Si no. Sí. Sí, fear My fears. My fear is. Como tímidos. ¿Cómo que se dice tímido en inglés? Tímido, shy. Shy. Mm -hmm. Shy. Okay, guys, great. Sorry about that. We got some noisy neighbors, but let's take a look at some of the things that we have. Tell me, um, what were a couple of the things that you learned about your partners? What are some of the fears that you discussed, some of the things that you discovered? Um, in my case, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, Jose, how afraid to snakes. <laughs> Good, he's not, af not afraid to snakes. He is afraid of snakes. Okay, thank you. Let, okay. Let, let me try. Let me try. Uh -huh. He so is. He is. He is afraid of snakes, right? Almost. He is afraid of snakes. Of. Correct. Ah, he is afraid of snakes. Correct. There you go. Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, who's afraid of snakes? Uh, Jose. Me, Omar. Yeah. Jose. Jose. Jose Omar. Uh -huh. mm. It's very common. It's a very common fear for many people. Um, like like uh, specific animals, dogs or snakes or yeah. some people, birds. Uh, is Everybody has a different fear. Okay, great. Omar, what did you learn about your partners? About Sullivan, uh, he has a paranoia. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to describe <laughs> the paranoia, but it's something about a car, I think. When he stop the car and the other car are uh, in, front, uh, in front of his car, uh -huh. and they stop and the road. <laughs> I, I don't remember exactly. Sorry. Okay. But, okay. but, he, but, but he say he, he has a paranoia for uh, something. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Something about the car, but you don't know and you can't explain. Mm. Yeah. A little difficult. So we gotta we gotta practice more on the vocabulary. Good. All right, Eduardo. What did you learn? Um, I learned about Anna and David that they are afraid to death John because both has uh, children and they could like to uh, see your your children's uh, grow up, uh, grow up up and for that reason they felt afraid to death to die to die Sorry. okay only for the children if no children no problem pa it's okay huh <laughs> i don't know if they say <laughs> that <laughs> yes <laughs> okay all right great anna what did you learn about your partner Okay, uh, David is the same with me. Uh, we are we are afraid about the 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 live of the world. <laughs> the the diet is is because we have uh, children and uh, we want to 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 see uh, to see. Uh, grow grow out grow out this teacher grow up Verlo, grow up Verlos crecer. yes to see them yes grow up. Mm -hmm. yes it's a fail for uh -huh. the both <laughs> uh-huh and what about eduardo what did you learn about eduardo maybe eduardo is a fail about the the six, the sick, maybe. I don't, I don't six. remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, the six, the sick, uh -oh. sick, the the health. Yes, uh, uh, I don't remember, Eduardo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. yes, it's something like that. Some illnesses. About some illnesses like COVID yeah. or, or. No, no. Uh, I don't know how do you say it. Um, enfermedades hereditarias. Ah, hereditary diseases. Hereditary diseases. Uh huh. And do you have yeah. hereditary diseases in your family? Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, some families. You have to be careful. It's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Okay. This, it can be very dangerous, it's true. Okay, Eduardo, great. Okay, Yancy, what did you get about your partners? Well, I I learned about, um, and we shared that feeling, <laughs> that one of the biggest fear is one day maybe lost your family in, in something or disaster, I mean, ambiental disaster mm -hmm. and lose everything and maybe one day uh, find yourself with nothing maybe with what do you what did you have and your families too oh, okay okay yeah. okay great 
No problem. Okay, guys. Well, great thing that we're talking a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our next topic. Our next topic is going to be globalization. Richard, I have a question. Ah, yes, Carla. Go ahead. What did you say? Eh, piel de gallina. Ah, goosebumps. Ah, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. Just when people get scared, they get goosebumps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I put in the chat. There you go. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other questions? No, teacher. All right. Teacher, yes. uh, yesterday I, no, yesterday, no. Maybe Monday, I talk about the, when you are in the traffic, uh, the people, um, toca la bocina. How do you say? Beep the horn. They beep the horn. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yep. I hear touch the gla the klaxon. It is not a way. Klaxon. Yes. No. 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 Okay. No. Uh huh. I think uh huh. Eh, klaxon is in Spanish. Really? Yes, klaxon is Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> no problem. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at a couple of things. Do uh, you have the next link? The next link, one more time, is globalization. Now we're going to take a look at globalization. But I am going to eliminate the share the screen. No share screen because I don't want you to read. I want you to listen to your partners. Okay, listen to your partner. No read for your partner. Understand your partner. It's okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. yes. Teacher. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. That way we can go. All right, guys. So everybody has a link. We are ready. We're the second teacher. Okay. Yes, I have Brian. All right, let's go for it. Harrison. Herson. Hello, teacher. Hello, Herson. How are you? Uh, I'm high teacher. Okay, Herson. Okay. I... Everything is okay. You understand? Um... Person, are you at home? Uh, I'm, I'm not. Person? I'm not, yes, teacher. Hey. Me cuesta, me cuesta, me cuesta un poco entender las palabras, pero es que a veces me cuesta responder. Sí, Gerson, eso quería hablar contigo, por eso te puse en este grupo. Yo veo que este nivel es bien, pero bien difícil para vos. Te cuesta entender, te cuesta expresarte, te cuesta hablar, te cuesta todo, todo, todo lo que tiene que ver con la parte oral del inglés. Harrison, ¿cómo es que has llegado a Intermedio 3? Eh... Es puro, puro académico. Tú no, no, has, no participas hablando, no te expresas, o solo es por puro hacer los trabajos en línea, Harrison. Eh, 
no, a veces lo hago, pero eh, sí, a veces cuando me cuesta algo, a veces me eh, pido ayuda de los compañeros, porque hay veces que sí me cuesta. Sí, pero no es que a veces, Gerson, es que siempre te cuesta. Nunca he visto yo una sola clase o un solo momento donde no te cuesta. ¿O sentís que hay momentos que no te cuesta, Gerson? Eh, realmente sí me cuesta bastante. Sí, así. Sí me cuesta eh, ajá. Gerson, contame un poco. Eh, ¿qué, qué, ¿Cómo es que mejoras tu hablado? ¿Cómo practicas? ¿O.? O te pregunto, no, no, solo para ver que, cómo te puedo ayudar. O sos del tipo de persona cuando le cuesta, en vez de esforzarse, mejor cambia el español y busca que alguien le ayuda. O sos el tipo de persona que cuando le cuesta, te rebucas, eh, buscas cómo vas a decir las palabras, eh, eh, mejoras, intentas inventarlo, aunque lo sí malo. O sea, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sos vos como persona, Gerson? Bueno, como persona, soy muy... Soy muy tímido y sí me cuesta, a veces eh, pido ayuda de los compañeros. Ok, entonces cuando, no sos... Cuando yo tengo, cuando, o sea, sí tengo las palabras, pero es más que todo, eh, la, me cuesta hablar, expresar, porque es como un miedo, temor. Ok, Gerson. No, Ajá. Como te digo, Gerson, yo te he estado observando estos días y honestamente tenés el hablado como que si estuvieras empezando inglés, como si estuvieras en básico. Porque hasta para estructurarte cuesta mucho para decir las cosas. O sea, tú, tú inmediatamente te vas al español. Cuando sentís una palabra, yo veo que ¡eh! inmediatamente, o sea, hasta para decir, hasta para pedir ayuda, no, no veo que ni eso lo puedes hacer en inglés. Entonces, te, 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 te menciono esta observación, Gerson, para que eh, vos ves, eh, aparte de esta clase, ¿qué más haces para mejorar tu inglés, Gerson? Eh, ah, quizás en ese, en ese punto de aspecto, eh, sé que a veces no, no, no practico mucho el inglés y eh, casi, se puede decir que casi, casi no, no le pongo empeño. Ok, Gerson. Sí, porque se está notando, Gerson, se está notando la dificultad que estás sufriendo, se está notando que, que tú, tú estás a un nivel totalmente, pero totalmente diferente a tus compañeros. ¿O no lo has notado, Gerson? Sí, sí lo he notado. Uh -huh. ¿Y, ¿Y qué crees que puedes hacer tú para ponerte al día y ponerte al mismo nivel de tus compañeros? Eh, lo que me dijo una vez, profe, eh... Eh, practicar y más que todo practicar eh, la vocabulario, vocabulario y la pronunciación, más que todo está practicando ok, perfecto Gerson ¿a qué horas mañana vas a hacer ese deber tuyo? Eh, no más que no más salga a trabajar me voy a poner con todo, a enfocarme en eso ok Gerson eh, ¿A, a, ¿a, qué horas, a, ¿a qué horas puedo? Bueno, ajá eh, Salgo yo, salgo como a las 5, de las 5 en adelante, yo me voy a poner a pescar, eh, voy a tratar de ver videos y eh, videos en YouTube, en TikTok, para mejorar, mejorar y estar, tratar de estar a nivel de ellos. Ok. Una de las técnicas que puedes hacer, Gerson, que te ayude, es imitar. Eso significa que cuando vos estás viendo videos, cuando vos estás escuchando a alguien, eh, pausarlo, repetirlo y tratar de pronunciarlo tanto como en fluidez, como entonación, lo que estás escuchando. Es importante empezar a, a hacer prácticas de dictados, escuchar dictados de números, de teléfonos, de preguntas, escribirlos, tratar de contestarlos, eh, intentar de responderlos de alguna forma para que así trates de mejorar un poco, Gerson. Si no, eh, si tú seguís teniendo dificultades, yo te recomendaría hablar para poder ver si puedes empezar los cursos de nuevo para la parte hablada, porque por lo visto, académicamente vas terminando, o sea, vos vas completando, vas llegando arriba del 80, pero me cuestiono de cómo es que estás llegando a esa meta, porque en lo que yo observo en clase, no sos un alumno de 80 para arriba, entonces no sé si es que te sale mal y simplemente vas eligiendo otra vez, otra vez, otra vez, otra vez, hasta que te salga bien, 
o sos eh, el que pide ayuda, ¿cuál es la respuesta de esto? Solo para llenarlo, o es que de verdad te empezás a rebuscar, hey, esto significa esto, ah, me voy a traducir, voy a ponerme y después lo contestás. Entonces, como te menciono, Gerson, no es para juzgarte como persona ni nada, sino que la idea es ayudarte para que de sí. verdad, si esta es tu meta, aprovecharla, de verdad hacerla. Sí. Y, y, y esto es lo que quieres vos, Gerson. ¿Vos quieres hablar? Sí. De... ¿O solo es para, sí. solo es como, solo es un requisito del trabajo o simplemente para pasar el tiempo? ¿O de verdad tú quieres hablar inglés? No, de verdad sí que hablo inglés y ¿Sí? quiero proponerme, o sea, este año, este año quiero proponerme eso. Sí, Gerson, porque aunque termines todo el curso, imagínate que ahorita estás en intermedio 3, ¿verdad? Sí. O sea que ya el otro módulo, ya estás preavanzado, te sentí que estás a ese nivel. Eh, realmente yo me consiento, yo mismo creo que no, todavía no estoy en ese, no estoy para ese nivel. Me falta. Ok. okay. No, hay, no hay problema. Lo importante es, uno, reconocer y dos, tener un plan de acción. ¿Qué es lo que Gerson Barahona va a hacer a partir de este día para cambiar su actitud, para cambiar su hablado, para cambiar su meta? Para... ¿Qué es lo que tú vas a hacer, Gerson? Imagínate, de repente, tuvieras necesidad de inglés. ¿Cómo hicieras? Entonces, pensalo, hace un plan, hace una agenda, hace un horario, ponerte tiempo dedicado de verdad a esforzarse, a bloquear las otras cosas, a apagar el celular, a apagar las otras cosas, para enfocarte en lo que tú tienes que hacer para desarrollar tu inglés, más el hablado, para poder tener eso. No te preocupes, todos cometemos errores, todos nos equivocamos. Yo entiendo. A veces nos da pena que ¡Ah! se van a reír de mí. Ah, no lo voy a decir bien. Lo, o sea, uno nos pensamos todo lo negativo y ni hemos dicho algo. Entonces, eso es lo importante. Empezar con aceptar esas cosas para poder ir mejorando. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Excelente, Erson. Excelente. Espero lo mejor para ti en este curso. Y más adelante, si necesitas tips, si necesitas sitio web, si necesitas ayuda a hacer tu horario o algo, decime, Erson. Y con mucho gusto, Ayudo para que tú logres esa meta que tenés. ¿Ok? Gracias. Y hey, de nada, Gerson, no tengas pena. Ahí estamos en WhatsApp. Si te da pena, decírmelo eh, aquí en la clase. ¿Oíste? Solo una consulta. Sí, Gerson. Sí, yo, o sea, le soy sincero y estoy consciente. O sea, yo tengo las palabras, pero eh, quizás eso es uno de mis mayores temores eh, en hablar, porque eh, casi me cuesta expresar y hablar delante de las personas y no soy de esa persona que, que habla ligera sino que me cuesta y sí a veces uso lo que es el en la clase uso lo que es el, el traductor, traductor inglés español para tratar de, 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 de desenvolverme uh -huh. entonces es por eso que eh, soy consciente y gracias profe hey. por escucharme no, de nada, Gerson. Y como te digo, no es, no es porque te cuesta, es porque quiero que de verdad llegues al nivel para que tú digas, no, hombre, de verdad me siento preavanzado, de verdad siento que estoy en nivel intermedio. Eso es lo único la razón por qué quería hablar contigo hoy. ¿Ok, Gerson? Ok. Excelente. Cualquier cosa, ahí estamos. ¿Oíste, Gerson? Gracias, profe. Ey, ya sabes, Gerson, ya sabes. Carlita, what happened? I'm just sorry, I have a problem with my internet. Uh, sometimes it's bad. Sorry, yes. It's I okay. have a problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the only problem with the uh, with the technology. If yeah. The technology is good because you can be in Santana, in San yeah. Miguel, but the problem is a problem and not receive everything. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think about globalization? Mm -hmm. I, for me, one of the most interesting questions is what will globalization look like 50 years from now? 
did you discuss with your partner what you imagine is globalization in 50 years? Or do you imagine globalization in the future? Yes, mm -hmm. I think I, about my my children. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know um, that technology will uh, advance, advance, mm -hmm. advance, advance in this moment. I I am afraid afraid uh, about that because uh, some some something no because some things are very um, peligrosas dangerous dangerous yes the globalization no no is the no is good uh, at all for me <laughs> okay. Teacher, in my case, in my case, I imagine the globalization uh, will be the same. For example, for the first uh, countries mm -hmm. in the first world and the second world, they can achieve uh, many uh, uh, advanced in in some stuff, mm -hmm. but the third world and the four world countries in that kind of world, uh, they can achieve uh, a good globalization. For example, uh, someone can ask about this question 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. and, and it's the same now because if 50 years ago, uh, some countries can get a uh, advance in her life but the third and the second and uh, the third and the fourth world uh, we live maybe in the same globalization in some uh, stuff could be for example television everybody has in the house a uh, lcd or a uh, plasma tv but in education we can we we don't have the the globalis the globalization education so for me would would, would be the, the same okay okay so for you the same now the same in 50 years yes uh, because for me some countries can uh, advance in the globalization and they can achieve some stuff but the other countries uh, would be so slowly to achieve that advance. Why, Mario? Why do you think some countries, for example, as you say, 50 years ago, some countries third world, but today, not third world, today, first world. Why some countries just first world and other countries not first world? Because, for example, Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they suffer suffered a world war mm -hmm. but they start to change uh, first the education uh, how to build her country with uh, all the nation so okay. other countries it's the same it's like to mexico they have petrol and uh, they a good environment with uh, I don't know how to say uh, minas de oro, gold mine, uh, gold mine, and other things. But they they are in the same situation like fifty years ago. Uh, so in Japan, they grow up mentally as fifty years they live ago. Okay, the same South Korea. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, you can see the two countries near mm -hmm. or Puerto Rico and Haiti. Okay. Okay. All right. Interesting. Very nice uh, position, Mario. Anybody else? What is your opinion about globalization for the future or now? Um, yeah, I think the we're living a kind of kit of globalization. 
because we are we still try to figure out what are the the best rule or the best standard to apply in our country, for example, or politics or economics or something like that. So in the 50 years uh, more, it's going to be more clear. For example, uh, the the money you used in the country is going to be ruled by the international uh, companies or the international governments or international for, uh, international. See? So that that's why I'm think is going to be totally different because it's going to apply that that type of a uh, standard and you is going to use it in the country. No, no, we are right now use it uh, because the the other countries is uh, totally separate of uh, maybe uh, topics of the globalization, not a completely, for example, Singapore. Singapore, they 50 years ago, they are a third world country. Right now, they are the the, the first, uh, the, there is a the richest uh, country right now because they, 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 they change everything around the politics, about the economics, about the culture, about the everything. So they try hard to, to do the make some difference. So I'm thinking it's uh, the same. It's going to be a, a big manual, for example, to the countries going to use to be a, a, a standard. So I'm thinking it's going to be something like that in, in 50 years, teacher. Great, great. Thank you very much. Now my question is not in the chat, is not in the links, but how do you imagine El Salvador in 50 years? How do you imagine? Are we continue third world? Do we go to second world? Are we go to fourth world? Do we go back? How do you imagine? Do we go back to more gangs? What is your opinion? How do you see El Salvador when you are old, when you are ready to retire? How do you imagine? It depends, teacher, because the cult the culture mm -hmm. is is uh, is the different because uh, Europe have different culture, uh, China, Japan have different culture, Latin America is mm -hmm. another culture. For me, it depends on the culture. Mm -hmm. So how do we change the culture? Because this is the excuse. Oh, I had the culture. So then always it's, it's Salvador to world. But uh, for example, Costa Rica has the same culture and Costa Rica change now, not third world. It depends how do you think, uh, first of all, in your house, because the people, oh, the government mm -hmm. don't do it, nothing, or uh, we don't have the opportunities, but you create your opportunities. So for example, when, if I, if I had, has, Children in my house, I create a good environment. Is show them how, uh, that I read. I like to read. Why it's great read books. Uh, I would like to show them uh, questions. Uh, how to question the and teach why the questions are good. So uh, I start to investigate with them, uh, the homeworks uh, about the, we how to improve the homework, the task and other things because they grow uh, trying to investigate, to create, to change their life, their, their life. Imagine if all the people in her house educated their child but, uh, with the uh, good things, but now the people in their house say, the teacher don't teach nothing. The teacher has the, I don't know how to say the culpa. The fault. Wow. The fault. So the people uh, fault other person, but the education is starting in your house. I think. Good. The people blame. Blame. Blame other people. Mm -hmm. Good. Sir. Yes. I think that globalization is um, majority depends about the vision of the, the government that has the country because 
if we see maybe 10 years um, before, um, we may be your, or, or fear is to be, or, or, or hope, it's maybe the next year being alive. <laughs> but, but in, in, this, in this moment, in the present, maybe we have some clarity about uh, a, a new future or a new hope. And, and also I think depends about the, the person that has the government of the country because they can control about what are going to improve in every, I mean, in every ministry, because uh, maybe on the, on the educational ministry, uh, it's, um, it's a responsibility of the government push the student or push the, 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 the teachers to, to get the student in a new level. And I think, and, and also I share the opinion about the, and also start in the family, but majority, uh, it depend of the person that control or the vision that has to where they are going to take the country. I'm sorry, Yanti, to take that? Um, to what level or position um, take the country? Oh, the so, country. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, good. No, no, I didn't hear the last word. Good. Thank you, Yanti. Okay. okay, great. Hey, I love it. I love that we are able to discuss big professional topics in English. For me, this demonstrates your level of growth in intermediate. This is the idea for English. No, oh, my favorite food is pizza. I like to go shopping. No, this is the topic of English to express difficult, complex ideas in English. Okay. Carla, you are very quiet. I don't listen to anything, Carla. Thank you. I think to today's generation, I born with a different way of thinking. They are more enterprising, maybe. Oh, so do you think the new generation has more opportunities than the last generations, Carla? Yeah. Really? Why? Because uh, this generation more more thinking in um, they are not not thinking in. Uh, I have a married, get um, get married, get uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I I I hear you. And, ah, I I have a a, a, a trip to all the work. And uh, my generation. Is a uh, uh, I have a married and uh, my dream is uh, have three children. Is a different teacher. Okay. okay. Maybe it's a different. Okay. I agree with Carla, teacher. Yeah, it's a different. Okay. That this this generation is is I don't know is my more enterprising. Maybe. It's more open to opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher, yes, I agree with, it. for example, the teenagers, uh, they have the opportunity to get internet, for example, yeah. in yeah. their house and the yeah. cell phone. But what are they doing? Watching TikTok, Instagram. <laughs> but you can find on YouTube many tutorials, videos, or yeah. something to learn anything in the internet for example i love to uh, watch uh, videos about english because i want to learn english but if you ask the teenagers what they want to do in the future uh, you can hear i want to be a youtuber i want to be a, <laughs> a i don't know how they say the, the people they uh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. the other thing is 
they are similar to to chant rap. I don't know, but I I, I don't know where is the word. But imagine reggaeton, reggaeton. because they watch that people earned a lot of money, but a, pro mm -hmm. a professional don't earn that uh, that money. So we need to change that situation because we need to pay a uh, a professional or a real mm -hmm. worker that what they deserve because uh, for example a plumber they deserve to earn a lot of money uh, a designer a uh, architect a uh, i don't know how to say contador accountant the accountant they deserve to to earn a good a good money because they are professional also nurse doctors uh, plumbers if you do something, you need to get a, or earn money. But now the people that they do anything, they earn money. So the teenagers, they are a, changing her mind because other people is, is, is doing something, but it's unreal. So we need to teach the teenagers, they have the real opportunities to change her life, uh, her, uh, the world. So they have all the opportunities because if you remember uh, before the people can get the bachelor uh, or the, I don't know how to say, bachillerato. High school? The high school because in my case, the first year I paid for the study in the second year it was free, but now all the people can get a uh, high school, but no, now nobody wants to study real. It's a little bit of, uh, they want to study, but the, the, the other one, they don't want to study. They don't want to spend the time watching videos or TikTok or something else. I think they are more lazy than we was. I think it's what was more harder to have a degree or a, uh, or, or something to study. Right now it's too easy and they are more lazy, I'm thinking. Okay, they are lazier and it was harder. Lazier, yes. Okay. Is it a reality teacher? Okay, okay. No, it's true, it's true. I, I see. Uh, generation, hang on, let me see. Say one moment. How do you say generation? Ah, yes, glass, the glass generation. No crystal, but glass because they break very easily. A little pressure. I, 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 I <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. it's okay. Every generation is different. Some generation have more problems, other have less problems, but you. I, I see, I see that in this generation, a little pressure, oh, I, I don't like it. I, I have, I I feel stressed. I feel traumatic you, and that is you, big. You push me. Yes, you push, you push, you push me, you push me. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Uh -huh. I, in, in, in this Without generation, pressure. yes. No, no, and it's true. This generation, I don't learn like this. I don't learn. No, 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 this is not my learning. My learning is not like this. I don't like pressure. <laughs> it's not my way, it's not my way. Exactly. exactly. But it's okay because because also the generation for my grandmother is very extreme. My grandmother said that in her generation, the teacher in the, the school. The chancla. In my generation, the chancla. Yeah. And, and it's not your mom, not your dad. It's really? the teacher. Yeah. With the ruler in the hand. Yeah. So every generation has different problems or different issues. Maybe for this, that's why the old generation is strong because they know that they hit them in the in the school and they hit them at home so come right. on teacher <laughs> <laughs> well i have to say one more time great job communicating i love that you express your ideas i understand you clearly we only need to work a little bit on a couple of grammar or vocabulary points but very nice being able to communicate at a more professional level tomorrow we're going to continue and finish unit four but thank you so much for participating in today's conversation class. I really appreciated it. Thank you guys.
No, thank you, teacher. Thank you, okay. Have a good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.